Hi, uh, good evening. Um, I'm like, let the hair issue go. <laughs> I, I wish y'all would spend as much time as what you're uh, putting into our children's brain as you're concerned about the hair issue. Uh, as far as integrity and transparency in a school district, that's what I require as a taxpayer, and I am a taxpayer here. Over the last few years, we've had a fake invoice to cover up an elected official's abuse of power. We had a TRE election where you had a meeting in the morning where no one was present and tried to push it through during the summer. You were pushing critical race theory, but you sent out a blast that said you weren't. Here's the book. It's on the Barnes and Noble critical race theory list with Ibram X. Kendi, which the Magnolia Librarian was promoting. You email parents and deny that the IB program is either Marxist, it promotes global citizens, and it's part of the UN. I proved to y'all last time that's not true. This week I find, or last week I find, the IB Texas schools resources for parents, I mean teachers, filled with communist Howard Zinn's resources. Now, I'm sure one of my local fellow people called y'all, and y'all had called them and took it down, and, and the mantra is Magnolia has never used that. Well, there's really no way of knowing, though I do know one teacher has had mock UN programs and she promotes population control. And uh, social emotional learning, critical race theory is part of social emotional learning. I had a parent email me last week a letter from the counselor of Magnolia High School and they're very upset about implementing the social emotional learning. The Republican Party passed another resolution against social emotional learning. And it's to accomplish the fourth goal of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And uh, the UNESCO states that social emotional learning is the key to building global citizenship. Y'all have implemented as a character strong, and I'll do some more research on that. But I'll find a way to get this resolution out to the taxpayers. Now, as far as honesty again, here's two applications for Magnolia West and Magnolia High School for the IB program. On one application, you state, the formal presentation of the findings from the feasibility study was presented to the board, and the board agreed to the funding. That never happened. Six months after this was filed, a lady uh, administrator come to the school board and said, hey, this is what we're doing. We're doing IB. So these documents were falsified. There was never an agreement for funding. Where's the honesty? Thank you, Ms. Russell. Where's the honesty and integrity on behalf of this school district?